think the biggest challenge for the trucking industry today is the driver shortage. I think a lot of Canadians don't want to do the job. Bernie Drieger has a serious problem. He owns a trucking company in Portage, La Prairie, Manitoba, but he can't find enough drivers. And Bernie says the stakes are high for all of us. How's the Midwest? Doing not too bad this week. A lot of people just don't realize how the product gets to the store. You go to any Sobeys or Safeway or Superstore, your bananas came out of Texas. That's, that's the only place they're coming from. So it's, it's trucks. And that's the only way it's getting there. Oh, let's watch Peter. From his dispatch center, Bernie tries to keep his fleet of 125 trucks on the road. But that's getting more challenging because he's losing drivers. The drivers that I lost last week both went to the oil patch in Alberta. So there's, I can't compete with an oil patch wage. Like we have five trucks empty right now. So five trucks, five trailers basically a million and a half dollars parked and not earning revenue. Exactly. The driver shortage isn't just Bernie's problem. There are thousands of unfilled truck driving jobs across the country. It makes you wonder, why don't Canadians want to be truckers anymore? Aaron Budding checks his truck over before going on the road. He became a trucker because his dad was one. I ask Aaron why he thinks there's a shortage of drivers and the first thing he says is the job is hard. My typical run would be pick up pork in Winnipeg, then head to the border, and then travel all the way to uh, uh, West Virginia and deliver there, and then pick up something near West Virginia or South Carolina or something, and then uh, shoot up in Ontario, deliver it, pick up something in Ontario, and then come back home. That's 6,000 kilometers in less than a week. Then a couple of days at home, and Aaron is back at it. It may be demanding, but Aaron actually loves it. You know, I feel a sense of, a, of pride and accomplishment that I help feed, you know, a couple hundred thousand people, you know, every month or something like that, right? So there's a part of the job that is, that, that, that part of the job is really nice. A young driver who likes trucking. Aaron is exactly what the industry needs. Most truckers in Canada are close to retirement, so the shortage is going to get worse. Aaron says the reason young people don't want the job is because there's a stigma. Some people really don't like truck drivers because they all think we're, you know, big smelly dudes or something like that, which is not true. There's a lot of nice people that work in trucking. I would say there's a feeling in general population that you couldn't achieve anything else, so you became a truck driver. You're just a truck driver. I've experienced that myself. I drove for 10 years. Uh, a lot of my friends, were very unsupportive of me being a truck driver and that I was abandoning my family. It's, it's just not true. It's, it's, we love our family and we love what we do. Bernie wants to make sure his drivers feel appreciated. He says it's important because he can't afford to lose any more of them. That's why he checks in with Myrna Chartrand. It's a little hard to keep the pink shining in this weather, Myrna. I know, I know. <laughs> Good thing I didn't really go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going next? Texas. Texas? Texas on Friday. Oh, wow, sunshine. Myrna is one of very few women truckers. Only 3.5% of drivers are female. If the stereotype is that women can't do the job, meet Myrna. You know, if I have to go to work Friday morning, I'll come to my truck Thursday night and sleep in my truck Thursday night because I'm just, you know, raring to go on Friday. You know, and to me, the truck is my comfort zone. It's my little happy place. It's de you know decorated the way I like, so it's where I feel at home. And it's where Myrna spends most of her time. Every month, she drives as much as most of us drive in a year, 20,000 kilometers. Myrna says one of the ways to solve the shortage would be to get more women behind the wheel. I'm lucky to have the job that I have and, and to be able to you know, contribute to the economy. I just want people to see that it's not the negative that a lot of people think it is. I would, uh, Myrna tells me she felt respected as a driver during the height of the pandemic. That was when truck drivers were considered essential workers, heroes of the road. But now that's faded. Do you think people have any idea how important the job is that you do? I think 
until there's necessarily a panic situation, people don't really think about how important truck drivers really are to the economy because, you know, from the clothes you wear to the food you eat to the vehicle you drive to the gas you put in it, everything has been brought by a truck at some point. So if you just stop and think about it for two seconds, you can really see the impact truckers have in our everyday life. Myrna says if people had an appreciation of truckers, it would go a long way to attracting women and men to the profession. Until people look at trucking as a viable career, it will be a scramble for Bernie to get enough drivers and a challenge for the country. If we continue down the current path of driver shortage, it'll affect every Canadian's quality of life. Our shelves will not have everything that we're used to having. They'll just have to wait until a truck is available to bring it. That's exactly what we're staring at. Nick Purden, CBC News, Portage La Prairie, Manitoba.